What's up? It's your boy Shice Bubs. You already know what it is, man. You watching NVOnline.com. We getting it in. All the real questions. Everything you want to know about that purple sour game. Everydaysmybirthday.com. Yeah, check it out. Hey. But besides Purple Sour and this entertainment industry, mm -hmm. what else are you trying to get into business-wise? Business-wise? You, st you still want to manage Well, artists, listen, or? right now I'm executive producing this new project called The Smokers Club. For those who follow me on Twitter, ShiceBubs01, you would know that, you know what I'm saying? I do The Smokers Club. I'm the host for The Smokers Club. Last year, it featured headline uh, Currency, uh, freshman, of the, freshman class artist, Big, Big Crit, Crit, Smoke Dizza, Fiend for the Money, Formerly of No Limit. Corner Boy P, Mac Miller was on the tour. It was a bunch of artists on the tour, and I was the official host for it. And I still am the official host for it. And now I'm executive producing the official Smokers Club album with Johnny Shipes, of course, Cinematic Music. And, you know, th that's what it is. That's the Smokers album that I'm putting out this year. It comes out roughly in uh, September, October, November through High Times record label. You know what I'm saying? The biggest magazine in the world. You know what I'm saying? As far as that butt is concerned, you know? That's and that's what I'm doing with the music. And besides that, you know, I got my little shice bub movement going on. As far as the artist thing, I got a couple videos dropping, you know. But I'm more behind the scenes now, you know what I'm saying? As far as doing my own website, everydaysmybirthday.com. You know, I got Randa Love doing interviews. She's interviewing people, artists and stuff like that. Let's talk about that interview because recently... Oh, I'm I got sorry my, to cut I got you off. I got my co-host, Ashley Marie. You know, you could tweet her. I am Ashley... I am underscore Ashley Marie on Twitter. You feel me? Like, I'm doing things like that right now. Alright. To talk about that interview because I think I saw something. You had your, your co-host or your interviewer interview Wiz Khalifa. Right. And I'm noticing... Well, what I'm hearing in the streets is you kind of working with the Taylor Gang. I heard you had a song with Chevy. If yeah, that's Chevy Woods. Shouts to Chevy Woods. How did that situation come, come about? Are you kind of getting affiliated with Wiz Khalifa, doing work with him business-wise? Nah, business -wise, I'm, or? Not I'm not getting anything. It's like, as far as Wiz Khalifa, like, I know he's popping right now. There's a lot of bandwagon artists out there and bandwagoners just that always want to ride a wave. But what people don't know is that I've been fucking with Wiz since... 19, I mean, 19, 2006, you feel me, 2005, you feel what I'm saying, when he first had got his deal and he was like the, the breadwinner in PA, Pittsburgh, you know what I'm saying, all my dudes is from Pittsburgh, so I already was in that loop, one of my, my, one of my good homies out there, he fucks with Kev the Hustler, aka Chevy Woods, you feel what I'm saying, so, now that he's really doing his thing with the rap, it was just like timing, like, you know? So we did the song. Me and Wiz been cool. You feel me? Bud Brothers and all that. Shouts to Currency too. You feel what I'm saying? And that's what it is. All it right. was inevitable, you know? You talked about the Smoker Club Tour Part 1. For the people who's following your movement, what day does Smoker Club Part 2 kick off? So people could expect when you guys coming. Smokers Club Part 2 officially already started. My man Smoke Dizza, Big Crit, and uh, Freddie Gibbs, they out on tour right now doing their one thing. But 420, April, tw April 20th, you already know, is going down. Smokers Club, the whole tour, the 60 stop tour, all starts again. You know what I'm saying? So, April 20th is almost there. It's 5.30 now. 420 started. You see, I st I'm still, <laughs> I'm living off that 420. Aight. After the Smokers Club tour, what other projects do you have or anything you're trying to get into after that tour? Well, right now, I just was on the, the straight stunting cover. Shouts to K-Slay. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm doing a lot of, I'm doing a lot of hostings. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, pause it for a second. I'm going to continue on with a question I asked you earlier. We did the phone interview not too long ago. Okay. And it sounded, the answer you gave me, no disrespect, it sounded a little political with the Puff Daddy situation. Right. You know, because I asked you, I saw that, not no beef, 
but it was words being exchanged and you was going hard body. What did you just want to throw shots just to mess with them? Or is it something deeper than deeper than rap that was going on with this situation? I've never dealt with them on a business level, so it wasn't it wasn't deeper than rap. It was just, you know, throwing stones at, you know, at the throne. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he happened to be the top breadwinner in the rap game. You feel me? So, you know, really my stones, throwing my stones at Puff is really like throwing it at a battleship, like throwing a rock at a battleship. That shit ain't doing nothing to him. But, you know, never know. Might strike a nerve. You you mm -hmm. feel me? It is what it is, you know? Is Puff, is Puff from Harlem? Is he? Nah, he's not from Harlem. Mm. He represents Harlem, though. He, like, he loves Harlem. He loves to represent it, but he's not technically from here. I yeah, yeah. But you know what though, homie? It ain't even where you from, it's where you at. Like Rock Kim said, you feel me? Like That's definitely what's up. Word. What are you trying to do to contribute to the growth of Harlem? In general, outside of music. Well basically, I'm not trying to show anything now, but I've been putting a lot of footwork in to show everybody in Harlem, like, yo, look, man, you can start from scratch, do this on your own. You feel what I'm saying? We set the trend. It is what it is. You feel what I'm saying? And I always show love to all Harlem artists because it is what it is. Like, I ain't grow up with the aspirations to be a rapper. You feel what I'm saying? So I always admired rappers for being able to put words together in a and rhyming fashion. You know what I'm saying? So, I always show love to artists that could do their one thing and they're not scared to go hard. You know what I'm saying? I love when, they, I love when artists go hard and do their thing and and flood the streets with the music. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's hot to me. You know what I mean? That's I love true. giving those type of artists free swag. Like, you know, they might have their own. Everybody got their own swag, but I'm talking about that, that one swag. That, that, you know, being from Harlem, you'd be like, yeah, I want, I want Harlem that. Harlem definitely transcends a lot yeah. of things in the, the industry. whole city. We, we, we fashion all Harlem that. Harlem happens it, is in Manhattan, which is, you know what I'm saying, the mecca of this fashion shit. Like. Everything else is, you know, you know. I saw you in the homie video, Short Dog. Okay. Are you guys... That video out? I'm not... I saw internet. Okay. Behind the scenes clip. Don't know if mm -hmm. it's out yet officially. Because I've been seeing them putting in a lot of work. So I've been seeing you really, you know, doing a Short Dog inside a cameo in the video. Do you guys have any projects coming out oh, in the near a, future? We got me and Short Dog. We got a song. We got, you know, some joints and shit. But um, like, I always like fucking with the new artists. Like, I always did from day one. Even when I was with the Diplomats, it was like they was new artists to me. Like Jem, Jewels. Like I love being around that shit. Like the beginning stages, cause you know once niggas get their money and they start doing their thing, the, it's the it's a little different. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of politics involved, and you know what I'm saying. People start seeing new things and they start feeling certain type of ways, and you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's that's life, and I love when. You know, I love it from the ground up. I love it from the beginning stages. You know what I'm saying? So, shouts to Short Dog. Shouts to all the artists doing their thing, man. All the young artists in the game coming up. You know what I mean? Since you say you like dealing with new artists, right now we're kind of in a new era of hip hop, new styles, and all that. Mm -hmm. Who's some of your favorite new artists out? I mean, the ones that I the ones that I personally deal with really are you know what I mean the ones that I fuck with like Wiz Chevy Woods Smoke Dizza you know what I'm saying Big Crit um, Mac Miller you know what I'm saying like they're not my favorite rappers they're just my favorite personalities and rappers too like I love I, I just like what they're doing I like the grind you know what I'm saying because it reminds me of how it was when we first started doing our shit you know what I'm saying. One question I like to ask a lot of artists, since this is the hip hop culture, in your opinion, what's your favorite aspect of hip hop and what does it mean to you? My favorite aspect of hip hop is the lifestyle of hip hop. And I've been implicated in that in my life since I was six years old. You know what I'm saying? And without hip hop, I'd probably be like a square. You know what I'm saying? Like, just corny and shit. Like, you know what I mean? In my eyes, what I view as corny. You know, with hip hop, it helped me just be myself and things that I think, you know, like it's alright to think certain things and be a certain way and be yourself, you know what I'm saying?